So this week's episode of Classroom of the Elite was a really good episode. In fact, this was actually the most enjoyable episode out of the past five for myself. I really like it when any episode will take the time to just have a bunch of characters sit around a table. It doesn't have to be a table, but just have a bunch of characters sit around and the way one side comes out victorious above the other is just through debate. So the fact that this episode for a good half of it was a trial was just really entertaining to me. But on the flip side, for the first half, I really appreciate what they did with Sakura as a character because her, I thought she was going to be a wild card. Either A, they're going to do something cool with her or B, she was just going to be a throwaway character and I was going to be fine with that because the cast was really solid overall. So if they did something interesting with her not wanting to reveal her camera, if they had something really interesting planned or they didn't, it really wasn't a big deal to me. But the fact that they went the route of giving her an actual reason that feels human and actually feels believable as to why she didn't want to come clean and protect Sudo and why she wanted to hide her camera and she was very kind of like run away and kind of shy and timid around other people. And the kind of reveal that she actually is a model in her spare time. She actually is very proud of her body. It seems like she actually is proud of how she looks. But when it comes to face-to-face -face interactions, it seems like she's very timid. She wants to hide her appearance. She wears fake glasses. She wants to just keep her nose down and not really be around other people. And I just assume it's a shyness thing. But when it comes to things online, like many people, a lot of people can do YouTube, can do different things, and be fine in front of a camera. But when it comes to a large group of people, thousands of people, even a couple of people around a school, that can drive people insane. So this is actually very believable that she actually is proud of her body. She wants to kind of like show the world her body in that way in a modeling sense but she's very kind of timid and shy and wants to keep her head down at school makes total sense so now we understand why she wanted to hide her camera as she has literally pictures of herself in her i would assume her natural state of her not trying to hide her appearance and is embracing her body like most people generally should they shouldn't feel ashamed of their body they should be able to embrace who they are but that shyness can really kind of drive a wedge between who you are and who you want to be kind of a thing so i really appreciate that they did something interesting with it but the thing that makes this the most interesting to me is actually how the series is pacing and structuring this story overall because at the end of the day a lot of anime go the route of you'll introduce a character you'll have a general idea of that character and then you'll go to the next plot point and then that next plot point reveals something about that character but in the case of classroom of the elite they're doing something pretty interesting and i feel like they're structuring it in a sort of building block sense where we have characters like horikita a couple of episodes back we learned that she has some brother issues that she's very scared of her brother she literally becomes nothing in comparison to the Horikita that we see, who's very just like cool, calm, and collected, very strong. But once she's around her brother, that's when she kind of breaks. A few episodes back, we've learned that. And now, coming into this trial, the fact that her brother is sitting there, everything goes to shit. And a lot of anime would go the route of explaining that, oh, she has brother issues at this scene and not introduce it early on. And it's not that it's just Horikita stuff. I feel like the show is doing a very solid job at introducing very kind of minor things to the story or characters that then play a factor later on, which is something that I feel like the pacing and structure really outshines a lot of anime as of late because they just will give you a character, give you a plot point, and then reveal something within that plot point. But instead, Classroom of the Elite is going the route of giving you character, giving you some just kind of slice of life stuff, giving you some little bit of backstory that then plays a factor with the next plot point. I think this is a better way of doing it, and I really appreciate the writing for that. But Sakura as a character, really enjoy her. And like I said last week, every character in this show feels interesting in their own way. Of course, our main character is going to steal the show because he's the most interesting, the most very kind of eerie because you know he's hiding his true abilities he doesn't want to step in and he literally won't as you can see at the trial even though Horikita is literally shaking in her boots he doesn't step up to the plate to pretty much protect the classmate there when in fact we know that he could probably do just as well if not better than Horikita if he was to reveal who he truly is so I appreciate that the cast is this strong because watching Sakura this week and kind of watching the whole mall situation as you see her just trying to kind of like get her camera fixed and we have this very creepy just perverted piece of shit who's just like you gotta write down your address you gotta write down your number and he's probably thinking oh i'm gonna have all her personal information and who knows if he's a rapist because like he literally gave that vibe and then our main character swoops in gives his stuff so i really like that kind of stuff because we get to see a little bit more of how he'll take kind of take charge if he absolutely has to but at the same time we get a bit more information in terms of sakura and i just really enjoy her character overall i really appreciate what they're doing with who she is on the side 
of literally not ashamed of who she is. She doesn't feel the need that she has to be shy and hide herself away. But when it comes to a public setting, she literally can't function. And that's why she needs other people to go with her to get her camera repaired, things like that. And I think they did a phenomenal job at giving her a believable reason as to why she was very kind of like adamant of just running away, not showing who she was and showing her camera off, which had the proof to literally prove the innocence of her classmate. But at the same time, the trial itself was very entertaining with how it was that battle wits because Class C is setting up Class D. Their teacher's a piece of shit, the students are a piece of shit, but at the end of the day, it's person word against another person's words because, of course, we have Sakura in her photos showing that she was there, but that doesn't have audio recording of the entire event, so it's still just a matter of words. So it comes down to the following day, I think it was like 4 p.m., the president is going to determine the fate, and it's no longer going to be a couple of weeks of basically suspension, it's going to be expulsion. Someone's going to be thrown away. And it comes down to our main character and Horikita and the rest of the class. Can they find the proof to show that Class C is a bunch of pieces of shit? And I'm hopeful that they will because, like, even if you don't like Sudo as a character, if he goes away, if he gets expelled, that's going to have a very negative effect on Class C overall. We know that for a fact that this school, the class wins together or the class loses together. So that's going to be really interesting. I'm holding on to the hope that our main character, Horikita, someone is going to basically find the proof. Maybe even Sakura herself. And I really appreciate the last line where pretty much the president of the school like shoves his hand he's like do you have the ability to pretty much do this and he's like that's a good question i feel like it's just the perfect way to end the episode because our main character isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be like rise to the top and say i'll get the job done he's just like we'll see i mean literally anything can happen in this school and i really appreciate it i think the art and animation was on point in this episode especially with the facial reactions and sakura herself because she's a very timid girl I thought they just did a beautiful job at animating her facial details to really give you the sense of this felt like a very human interaction. And the episode overall I thought was spectacular. It really had me interested from start to finish. I can see some people maybe saying, oh, this or this about, you know, Sakura or maybe Pseudo, things like that. Or maybe they just thought the kind of like trial was boring. But for me, this was everything that I like with anime and I really like the pacing of this series. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What was your favorite moment? If I had to pick a favorite moment myself, it would probably just be the trial overall and just what they did with kind of like the battle of wits there the kind of battle of bluffs in a lot of ways that was my favorite moment but at the core of the episode was fantastic let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below before at least smack that like button to share your support if you're new channel be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one